page welcome back to my channel so if you're not aware london is currently in tier two of lockdown or quarantine or pandemic restrictions whatever you want to call it and that basically means that you're not allowed to meet with people who don't live in your household indoors so my friends and i have been trying to find different ways that we can still have fun and hang out but outdoors the only thing is we're in london and in london it rains it rains so hey guys Hello. <laughs> hey. Hey. so we had this great plan today to go to a pumpkin patch we're actually going back to um crockford bridge farms if you guys watched that vlog i went with my friends alex and hope to go strawberry picking well today we wanted to go see some pumpkins uh we knew it was going to be raining but we were hoping praying that it would just stop for a little bit so just that we a could little bit. you know just briefly okay now it's getting harder it's running harder now actually <laughs> so i'm trying to keep hope alive sorry <laughs> that <laughs> it'll stop just for a moment so that we can you know have a little bit of fun dry fun so i don't know guys i will check in with you in a bit please wish us luck you guys for some reason the map is telling us to go through this like weird wooded area the last time i came here i did not have to do that so i'm not really understanding what's going on right now but it just seems to be no other way but i don't know it's something about it being october spooky season i don't want to go through the woods i wasn't planning for that today so i don't know how do you guys feel about that i'm ready okay <laughs> You're just ready to get to the farm, right? I mean, I feel it. Okay, well, who's going first? I'll go first. <laughs> okay. Justin. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna be the brave one. I go first. Yo. I'm just not going last, so <laughs> I'm trying to be in the middle somewhere. I definitely have to go first. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna vlog it just in case they have to use this as evidence one day. Oh my god! Oh yeah. We'll be on like some, some show <laughs> They found a vlog camera. <laughs> Oh, it is really you guys, we're doing a lot just to see some pumpkins, okay? They were selling, they're selling pumpkins at M&S right now. Okay, this guy, this guy just came from back there. Okay, we just see, um, we just saw a bicyclist come from back there, so we're gonna do it because we didn't come all the way out here to not see some pumpkins. So we're going. We're, okay, all right. Got a I know. Doing a lot right now. All right, y'all, here we go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what? What is this? This is the. Y'all, this is not right. I am not going through there. I am. We need, they say we need to go this side. Public footpath, yeah. But it doesn't right. say what it's going to. But we're the only public out here. It looks scary that way, so. I think that Sabrina's mom can take a picture. No! I think this is it though. But which way, right? I don't know. Sabrina, what? Like Sabrina's taking an Instagram video. We need the directions. Do you have the directions? Yes, I have the directions, everybody. Okay. So it is. Oh, what? I know it's like the scariest. <laughs> no. This ain't right. I don't see, bruh, bruh. What, what is this? This is like my worst nightmare. I know, I will be so pissed. Oh, this is so crazy. Like this is actually crazy. Welcome to England. England, England. England, England. Oh, no. Y'all, I have never been more sent off by my GPS in my life. We just had to hop this fence right here. We finally made it. I don't understand what happened. Why do we just have to hop a fence? We made it, y'all. It was a struggle, but we made it. 
Okay guys, so I have to be honest, I am a little bit bummed right now because we arrived and we basically found out that the area where they have all the cute displays and pumpkins and scenery, that's close. So we went through this whole maze, hopped a fence and did all of that, kind of for nothing. <laughs> But it is what it is. Um, basically, the pumpkin market is open, oh. which is like a very... Oh, sorry, Justin. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Justin. Which is basically like a really, really small area where you can purchase pumpkins um, during the week. So we're making do with what we have and we're taking our Instagram photos over here. But yeah, it would have been nice to like have all the cute scenery. So it kind of sucks, but... It's still nice to be out. It stopped raining, you know? So, it's all good. It's all good. Before you educate the head, try to educate the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys have been asking who my barber is. So you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I am <laughs> Kellen, Kellen Cuts Instagram. Yes, Instagram. I'm gonna leave his information below for you guys. You can check him out. Best barber out here. That's Only person I let touch my hair, so. <laughs> okay. So as you guys can see, I just left the barber shop. I was in such a rush this morning, but like, when am I not, honestly? I plan to walk to the barber shop. Um, but I was running late, ended up having a conversation with my flatmate, and then my friend Sylvie called me, and then before I knew it, I was like, okay, I have to get on the train. So, I am walking home now. I'm so glad that I was finally able to introduce you guys to my barber. He's awesome, like really so good and pays so much attention to detail, like, it's amazing. So definitely check him out if you're in South London and need a barber. But yeah, he's kind of been hinting at me lately that he thinks I should start growing like the top part of my hair out a little bit. And I've been looking at like old photos of myself and I really did like it that way, even though I enjoy wearing my hair very, very, very short. I have decided that I'm gonna grow this top part at least um, out a little bit. So he didn't cut that today, but he still gave me my uh, usual part because I have a photo shoot on Tuesday and it looks weird when it's like grown out, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't look fresh. So we did the part one last time, but um, in two weeks when I go back for my next appointment, we're not gonna do the part anymore. So I'm just gonna be growing this, this part out. You guys will see. So when I get home at some point today, I need to bleach my hair so that it's like freshly blonde. Cause right now it's really grown out. You can see a lot of my uh, brown. I was rushing so much. I didn't even bring my vlog camera. So I'm talking to you guys on my phone right now, but you know me. So yeah, like I said, walking the hour home now, uh, people are probably passing me like, why is she talking to her phone like this? But whatever, mind your business. I'm a vlogger. And uh, yeah, um, what else did I wanna say to you guys? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm not even paying attention. One second. So yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> once I get home, I really need to do some cleaning. Oh my gosh, my room, you guys. The clothes, the clothes are overflowing. I've begun to accumulate way more things than I have space for in that flat. So I've just been trying to declutter and like make separate piles, um, like a donate pile, a throwaway pile, and possibly a sale pile. And then I actually have a pretty busy evening. So my university that I graduated from, University of Greenwich, has asked me to be a judge for this like virtual entrepreneurship boot camp that's happening today. So I have the honor of being a judge and listening to the pitches uh, along with two other judges and we're gonna pick a winning group or winning person um, tonight. So that's from like 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. actually. So I need to be on my laptop doing that. And then, sorry, <laughs> somebody walked past with their dog, I didn't hear him. And then after that, guys, after that, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm actually gonna stay up this late for this next thing, but your girl is gonna be on TV tonight. Yes, <laughs> on TV. But I really wanna break that down and explain that to you guys um, in a different setting. Not while I'm walking outside with my phone, with my arm hurting. 
So when I get home, I will explain what's going on, but I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, I've been sharing it on Instagram. You guys have been showing me so much love. My friends have been showing me so much love. Like it really means the world to me. So I will check back in with you guys later and provide you with the rest of the updates. absolutely love carnivals which they call fun fairs here in England but oh my gosh I would love to go to this if I didn't have so much to do today I would definitely be in there they even have bumper cars I also just remember that I need some meal prep at some point today. It's like, as an adult, if we don't already have enough to do with work and making sure that we make money and things like that, there's still so much to do to just maintain our lifestyles. To eat, to stay healthy, to exercise, like that's a full-time job in itself and then they expect us to work our entire lives as well. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I'm currently sitting at my laptop waiting for this competition to begin. I'm really excited to see the pitches that the groups are gonna come up with and, you know, choosing a winner. I'm trying to think, I've only been a judge like one time in my life and it was for like a children's talent show, something random, but yeah. So this should be pretty cool. It's currently 6.37 and the email says to click the link and join the Microsoft Teams meeting or whatever um, at 6.55, so just sitting here waiting you guys i took the longest nap earlier like there's something about the weather the autumn weather here in london that just drains me i don't know what it is but like all i want to do is sleep all day and i know i have to fight it i have to fight it because there's too many things to get done but it is difficult <laughs> i plan to bleach my hair before this thing and didn't even do that does anyone else deal with this when the seasons change? Or is it just me? It can't just be me. But since I have a few minutes to spare, I can tell you guys what I was talking about earlier. So a few weeks ago, I was reached out to by the YouTube Originals team and they asked if I would like to be a part of this special virtual HBCU homecoming event. And of course I said yes. <laughs> I'm an HBCU graduate. I graduated from Hampton University in 2014. So I was super excited that they even reached out to me because I'm sure there's so many YouTube creators who graduated from HBCUs and they chose me. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I don't know. It's, it's crazy guys, it's crazy. So they had me film the video and send it in. And then a little bit after that, they asked me if I would wanna do some promo videos for Instagram. And of course, once again, I said yes. So first they put me on their Instagram story. <laughs> Look at my little bobblehead. How cute is that? <laughs> and then, like, I answered some questions for the promo. Oh, my gosh. And then, guys, I did not expect this, but they actually posted me on their Instagram feed. One that doesn't disappear in 24 hours. This is your girl on YouTube's Instagram page. This photo has 28,600 likes. It's me on their page like i honestly can't believe it that's me <laughs> they have 26 million followers on instagram that's a lot of people but yeah it's just a really really exciting opportunity and i feel so blessed and so honored to be a part of it homecoming season at hbcu is such a huge deal and the fact that you know all these homecomings had to be canceled this year due to the pandemic it's really, really sad. I know so many people were disappointed, but it's super nice that YouTube is doing this and having this virtual homecoming. There's gonna be so many different performances like Chloe and Hallie, Ari Lennox, um, Saweetie. I think Lala and 2 Chains are hosting it and I get to be a part of it. Even if they only show me for like 2.5 seconds, I will be so, so excited. So 
yeah and the crazy part is it's gonna be on youtube live of course but it's also going to be on bet so your girl is gonna be on the tv screens tonight <laughs> this is so cool um it's gonna be like one o'clock in the morning here by the time it comes on but i'm gonna try my hardest to stay up so hopefully that nap that I took earlier pays off and I'm able to stay awake long enough to watch it. But in the meantime, we have about 10 minutes until this competition starts. So I'm gonna get prepared. Uh, so th this is uh, Paige. Um, we'll let her jump on as well. Uh, Paige, feel free to unmute your mic and stuff. Uh, and uh, you can uh, and undo your camera and you can introduce yourself as well. But... Hi, can you all see me? Yeah, um, yeah, I can see you fine. Okay, great. Hi everyone, my name is Paige Delaney. Um, I graduated from the University of Greenwich in July, virtually, uh, with a master's degree in strategic marketing. Um, and since then, I have just been working for myself as a digital content creator and working on an original business idea that's going to be launched very soon. So, that's me. Thank you very much, Paige. Of course. Lovely to see you again. <laughs> um, and after the two minutes of pitching, uh, you will have three minutes of questions from the judges. Try not to take too long on those questions. Try and be concise. I'm sure every judge would like to get a question in. Um, so if you try and keep it at least around 30 seconds, um, you can spend as long as you want on each question. Uh, just be aware that you only have three minutes total. So shall I start now? Just tell me when to go, please. Go. All right, so hi, my name is Wafa and we're in Team One. Um, the company name is way to be So me and um, other people in the Gen Z and Millennial age group have found it difficult to find clothes that fit our style and body shape. Looking for their own languages and uh, BBLA tests, like um, aid towards them. Uh, the success of our business is uh, measured by the quantity of students. Okay, you have about 15 seconds left. If uh, Paige, if you can get a question in. Sure. Um, are you aware of any competitors in this market or do you think you're the only one? As I said before, uh, funnily enough, we're the only ones in this market. As ever. And we're also trying to tackle the problem of having no buyer protection. The thing is with those marketplaces, Alibaba, AliExpress, no buyer protection is given. Okay. So, are we all happy with that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll um, join them. Now, switch that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, y'all. This is so stressful. Picking a winner because they all do so well. I'm so proud of them. Well done to all of the contestants, first of all. We were really impressed with your ideas and also the way you presented under, obviously, challenging circumstances with technical issues and it's all being done a very different way. And we're very aware that this has been done at the end of a very long day for all of you. So really, really well done to you. You should be super proud of yourselves. Yeah, the, the winner <laughs> of Best Pitch is Way To Be. <laughs> the countdown has begun guys less than a minute now to challenge and continue to challenge social inequality oppression and injustice mary mcleod McEwen, dr martin luther king jr john lewis a few hbcu leaders who understood injustice when the response to black America's pain and suffering is, be quiet. Being the homecoming queen, being the football star, being the, the, the head of the economic society, we can do all those things when we're at an HBCU. And that's part of, I think, what makes our education and, and that part of our learning process so important. I chose an HBCU because it felt like home. It was home. I immediately felt at 
poem. I chose an HBCU because I wanted to further my love of dance. HBCU dancers were the only exposure that I had of black women dancing at a collegiate level. As soon as I saw them, I immediately fell in love and I knew that I had to be a part of it. One thing that I will take away from my experience of attending an HBCU is the lifelong friendships that I was able to make while I was there. The community. My confidence. The importance of reaching back and giving back. The amazing network of fellow alums who are always looking out for each other. Okay, we're about to virtually swag surf out of here with FLY and the band. Because you're at home alone, don't act like you don't know what to do. We're about to turn up with this quarantine swag surf all across America. because it's one of the only days this week that it's not gonna rain yes. and we wanted to get some photos out here so there's like a really cute floral display at what is it called? Duke of, Duke Duke of, of York, York Square yes. so we're gonna try to get some photos there were already people over there with like a photo shoot or a professional camera right. stuff we got our iPhones right. but we're gonna try to squeeze in there and get some photos so yeah. Cute. Where you get that coat from, girl? Yeah. 